On a sunny Monday afternoon, I set out to sea on a four-day expedition with the Archipelago's Institute of Marine Conservation. The marine ecology team was in search of coraliginous deep-sea reefs in the Mediterranean yet to be discovered, a project years in the making. This was an opportunity one could only dream of before. Yet now I get to call it a reality. As my first time being on a ship for more than just a few hours, I didn't know what to expect. Even a calm sea was rougher than I thought. The boat was bumpy and made it difficult to get anything done. For the first day I stumbled around trying to find my footing. I shared the ship with a crew of twelve, space was limited, and time to yourself was nearly out of the question. Our expedition started out with a bit of seafloor mapping using a biomass scanner. We were able to spot areas where possible coraliginous reefs live. These are different than a normal coral reef and are only found around 100 meters deep. With the data from the scanner, we were able to track where biomass was present, how much there was, and how high it reached. With the information from this technology, we were hopeful we would find a reef in our sought-after black coral. We anchored the boat, prepared the cameras and got ready to see what lived below. Releasing the camera into the sea, being careful not to break its fragile pieces, it began the journey down to the seabed. As the camera dove deeper, we found vibrant seagrass meadows, colorful algae, and diverse fish species. Seeing the ocean in action was such a surreal experience. There's nothing like watching a lionfish swimming or a moray eel pop out from hiding and knowing it's happening just meters below you. It's an experience I'll never forget. Though we discovered many marine species living below, we were still yet to reach the black corals we hoped for. The sunset stopped our research for the night. We headed back to land, docked at a nearby port, and made plans for the next day. Days two and three brought nothing new. Winds were high and the sea was rough, poor conditions for research with fragile technology. Rather than sailing out, we stayed docked and reviewed old footage. Though this may sound mundane, this gave us the opportunity to pause the videos and truly dive deep into the biodiversity of these reefs. This way, more species could be identified to better learn about these unique habitats. The next day brought more hope. After receiving possible locations of corals from a nearby fisher, and with the weather finally on our side, we were able to sail out to sea. This time when we sent the camera down, we found exactly...